the world apparently needs another dive watch with a black dial and a black bezel. There just aren't enough options out there and Tudor is here to help solve that problem. Let's have a look at the Pelagos 39. The Tudor Pelagos 39 is the latest release from Tudor. It's a 39 millimeter diver, as the name would suggest. It has a 47 millimeter lug to lug, titanium case, satin finish, titanium unidirectional rotating bezel with inserts in sunray satin finish, screw down crown, sapphire crystal, solid steel case bag, 200 meter water resistance. I like Tudor watches. I own the previous iteration of the Ranger on the bun strap, which I wore, I might add, and I also briefly owned the Black Bay 79220N with the ETA movement and the rivet free bracelet. They make great watches, and now that Rolex has for years now essentially achieved status of unobtainian for even and a submariner, they were my go-to when thinking of classic, conservative, super versatile daily wearer watches of high quality. I tend to prefer a watch around the 40 to 42 millimeter range, depending on how it wears, you know, lug to lug and all that. And I haven't always seen the need for a smaller iteration of those kind of watches. Not for me personally, but I appreciate the trend. And if I had to choose between a 38 to 40 millimeter or a 44 to 48 millimeter, I would always go for the 38 to 40. These sizes make their watches more accessible to a broader audience from a wearability perspective, giving the people a lot of what you get in the larger iterations of the Pelagos in a smaller package. I'm also certain that it opens up an entire market of female watch buyers. Gone are the days that you only saw 31 millimeter date chests or Cartier tanks on women's wrists. It started with the Pelagos, the full size, the blue, a real dive watch. The watch that competes on some level with the sea dwellers and the planet oceans of this world. 50 atoms depth rating and all the features that you would expect from a real dive watch and then along they come and make a smaller version with less water resistance and not marketed just as a dive watch but very much as a lifestyle watch. Look at the videos. They jump in the water with their suits and dresses on. They transition from the water to the cocktail party and this is something that people have reacted to, especially in the watch world. Personally, I think it's honest marketing. Who actually dives to 500 meters wearing a Rurix or a Tudor? I think you have to be careful and walk a fine line between marketing a watch purely as a fashion statement or a fashion brand, which leaves you vulnerable to the whims of fashion, versus on the other hand, going all in on the technical prowess of your product. Yes, this watch will function as a tool watch in the same way that a Land Rover Discovery is built for off-road. But the reality is that most of the time, the Discovery never ever has to go through deep mud engaging in full four-wheel drive with diff lock on low-wheel drive mode. The Disco has to be able to do it, but it's really not going to be used for that purpose. And that's the same with the Polargos 39. I'm not a big movement nerd. I like the sound a Mercedes door makes when it closes, and I can tell the difference between that and the door of a Dacia Sendero. I can also hear the difference between winding a well-made in-house movement and a cheap Chinese abomination. I'm willing to pay more for one than the other, but I just want the watch to feel like quality, and I want it to give me the feeling that the quality I experience is congruent with its actual quality. This watch does that in regards to finishing, movement, and so on. The finishing is attractive, the bracelet has presence, which is weird to say about titanium, I know, but it feels strong, and it has that quality feel. It feels premium, and I again feel the price to feel ratio is very reasonable. On the surface, it is almost the very definition of plain, bordering on boring. It's a steel dive watch with black bezel and black dial white hands and markers. But that's only if you look on the surface. The thing that differentiates a good watch from another are the small things. The sub has the ceramic bezel, which has a huge impact on how it wears and what it signals to the rest of the world. The Pelagos bezel is the sunray satin finished, which is not just matte black. Looking closely, it has character and a personality of its own. It changes with the light. It has just enough to make it stand out from the crowd, and yet it will blend in seamlessly. From a dial perspective, I personally think it's more balanced than the full-size Pelagos. 
the market placement, the dial configuration work really well and it strikes a balance between exactly being that delicate stylish watch and the rugged dive watch that the full size Pelagos just can't. The size plays a part but I dare say that it's the color and the dial layout and the dial configuration that make the difference. This watch does just enough to not be boring and at the same time makes it super versatile for the same reason. I would venture that this watch is an excellent choice for anyone looking for a one watch collection because the overall aesthetic is so easy to work into any wardrobe. The black dial white marker look will allow you this watch to wear with any strap, leather, NATOs, rubber straps, you name it. Not that I actually think that people will, that buy this watch will ever switch up the bracelet but they can if they want to. Going to Hawaii, throw on an orange strap. Join the army, put on a dark camo NATO. Tuxedo event, you can actually get away with black alligator. I tried. The reality is that the regular consumer is going to wear this watch pretty much as is and it'll work well in pretty much any situation and yet again without just being plain. It has just enough details to make it special and that's what I think makes it very, very special. When it comes to alternatives, I think I've made my point. There are, there are like a trillion options of simple dive watches out there to cater for every taste. To contrast the Pelagos, I have three options. One, the Submariner. It's known, it's loved and unobtainable unless you have extra cash or a very good relationship with an AD. It, it looks more luxurious. It's got more polished bits. The gloss ceramic bezel. To be fair, I actually don't think the Submariner is as versatile in my own opinion because of the shininess. The Sub owns the I have arrived segment of the market. But from a pure versatility perspective, I'm going to be launching the controversial opinion that I actually think the Pelagos is more versatile. Second, there's the IWC Pilot Mark 20. Again, this is a black dial watch with a steel bracelet. It's slightly larger on paper at 40 millimeters. It's not a dive watch, but again, who's going to dive with this thing? And who's going to pilot a plane with the IWC? But I digress. What you have in the IWC is a watch that is refined, versatile, stylable on straps, NATOs, steel bracelet, although I prefer the Tudor style oyster kind of bracelet, but that's a pure personal preference. Ultimately though, the IWC will give you a lot of the aesthetic and a lot of the look that the Pelagos can do as well. It's just the flyer's watch and the flieger watch instead of the diver's watch. So if you're more of a flieger kind of person and the Spitfire speaks to you more than uh, deep sea diving, that may be the watch for you. Finally, there's the Citizen Pro Master Diver Fuchisubo. I've, I've done so many takes on that pronunciation. This is the best I'm gonna do. But there you have a dive watch with in titanium with a black dial, black bezel, white markers. It's actually a really, really good dive watch. It looks attractive. It's a little bit more low key and probably not quite as classy in the look as a Tudor would. But overall, you're going to be saving a bucket load of money for a really attractive watch. So just to hammer the point down into the ground, there are a million options out there. So whether you choose the Pelagos, the Black Bay 58, the Citizen, the Rolex or the IWC Pilot, you are going to have more than enough options for versatile watches there. And if you do like the Pelagos 39, but you don't agree with me on black being exciting enough, give it a year or so. My guess that there'll be a blue on the way and probably some other colorways eventually. Um, it, it wouldn't surprise me. So. Thanks for sticking around. Leave your comments and thoughts below. I am very curious to hear what you think about the Pelagos 39. Also, if you like my content, check out my other content and be sure to come back another time. Thanks for checking in.